Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and today we're going to watch another episode of Big Bang Theory to see how accurate the science and technology scenes in the- Go! <laughs> the thing about like the whole using spray to make the lasers appear is like if you look closely you can actually see like where the point of the lasers are originating you can see like the green light reflecting off of those surfaces so the spray it'll work but only if you can already see the laser with your naked eye so if these lasers were emitting light that were outside of our um, visual spectrum like if it was infrared light for example which we can't see with the naked eye no spray would make that just suddenly appear for us. You would have to wear some sort of lenses that allow you to see that light. The reason that this is possible, and also when you see like when he's spraying that like, it's probably just water to be honest, like when he's spraying that on the lasers, it's not like it only lasts for one second and then disappears. Like when he sprays it, it the lasers continuously stay where they are in place. And the reason for that is because when you're spraying that water, what you're doing is you're scattering light to more directions and your eyes can pick up that scattered light more efficiently. It looks like some lasers in that like beam are thicker than the other ones in that beam and the reason for that is because the water that you're spraying over there it's scattering those laser beams more than the other ones that you haven't sprayed yet and that that's how this whole thing works. If you took advantage of modern marketing techniques and you optimized your manufacturing process you might be able to make this a viable business. And you know about that stuff? Penny. <laughs> I'm a physicist. I have a working knowledge of the entire universe and everything it contains. Who's Radiohead? Oh. I, I mean, that, that's a bit unfair, right? But yeah, I highly doubt Sheldon knows who Radiohead is. You don't need to be a physicist to understand like modern marketing techniques, but I think it does help a little bit having like a physics or engineering background because you're pretty much trained to solve problems and to optimize. So most people think that Henry Ford invented like the, the modern automobile or car that you're driving today. It's not actually true. He invented the assembly line, which meant you can make more cars in a shorter amount of time and it was cheaper, which made it affordable for everybody. Affordable? But you can totally understand how the universe works and how the earth moves and how the stars orient themselves but yeah radiohead is just that that's too much what are you using as a bonding agent hot glue you're kidding any of the cyanoacrylates would do a better job it won't work the flower's too porous what if we infused the bottom layer with silicone rtv to provide a better mounting surface intriguing <laughs> Good question. What are your marketing and distribution channels? Well, there are the waitresses at my work and this cute little shop in Old Town. Hush, 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 hush. Virtually non-existent. It... <laughs> I'm thinking that we set her up with a hosted turnkey e-commerce system to start. Why not eliminate the middleman? We could install a small server farm with a static IP in her bedroom. She'll need some kind of industrial cooling system. Of course, but before we set up a marketing and distribution infrastructure, we should finish optimizing the manufacturing process. Um... Okay, there was a lot that was just said there, and... I really don't want to disappoint you guys, but I don't know a lot about the material specifications of what they were just talking about. I mean, I, I've never actually like studied it, learned it, and like I don't apply it <laughs> either. So while I can't tell you what the actual materials and the ad like adhesive stuff that they're using to actually create these penny blossoms are, I can hypothesize that the majority of what they're doing is just optimizing what already exists, right? Like these guys haven't actually invented a new idea like i mean a long time in the other previous big bang theory videos they said that engineers are the oompa loompas of science i gotta tell you like that theme is just carried forward all throughout life and this tv show <laughs> but most of the problems that they just solved here they were they solved using logic and they applied the things that they already know which you don't need to be an engineer or physicist to do that it's just people who are engineers are like, we're, we, that's what you do every day at your job. I mean, to a certain degree, it's like, here's a problem. How do you solve it? Here's something that's going wrong. How do we fix it? 
Like, how do we optimize this so we can get, like, the most out of it? Like, these are the things that everyone just did in that one scene. Camouflaging bald spots is primarily a male concern. Perhaps we could expand our market. <laughs> how are flower barrettes going to appeal to men? <laughs> we add Bluetooth. <gasps> Brilliant. Men love Bluetooth. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You want to make a hair barrette with Bluetooth? You, Penny, everything is better with Bluetooth. <laughs> There's absolutely no denying a word he just said. Everything is always better with Bluetooth. Right here, you literally have like a perfect dynamic, though, of like a CEO or like a business head and all the engineers that are working for this guy is like if Penny was a CEO, right? She's like, how can we sell this product to more people? And the engineers are the one who are like, well, we could do this and we can add that. And then she was like, could you do that? And we're like, yes, we can definitely add Bluetooth to anything you want to add Bluetooth to. But this dynamic is pretty much what exists in like these giant corporations, right? You have a bunch of people who are like, I have all these ideas. Let's implement them and let's go to our engineers to see if it's even possible. They're gonna tell you, yes, we can, or no, we can't, and you're insane. Look at Planck's constant. People say that's arbitrary. That could not be less arbitrary. If it varied even slightly, life as we know it would not exist. Bam! <laughs> I haven't used this thing in forever. I think it's. H is equal to 6.26 times 10 to the negative 34. And I can't remember the units for it. Um, I haven't used it in forever. I can't remember the units at all. But it was something really weird. It had like mass, time, and distance, like all in like at all at the same moment. I, I don't I don't actually know how like they derived that constant, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it has like mass, distance, and time all at once. I'm not sure how, but and I'm almost certain the number really is 6.26 times 10 to negative 34. Planck's constant is what relates the energy of a photon to the frequency of, its, of the same photon. The equation for it is E equals HV, where E is energy, is equal to H, which is the um, Planck's constant, multiplied by V, which is the frequency of the photon that you're trying to find the energy of. Gosh, that brings back a lot of failed quizzes in college. This episode today that we were watching, it is very, very, like, it's less, like, scientifically focused and it's more on the, like, CEO and engineer relationship. And they got that down perfectly. Like, this is essentially how many businesses work. It's a lot of people saying, like, okay, I want to sell this, but I want to sell it to make more profit, so I want it to cost less, but do more. So you hire a bunch of engineers to figure out how they can lower the cost of it but also deliver more of a performance of whatever it is you're doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you wanted to see more of this just put it in the comments. If you wanted me to watch any other movie or TV show that you had in mind put that in the comments as well. I do read all of them. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay fresh. Stay golden.